Hey all, I've decided to put together a pen refills comparison. And you are watching the Ink Showdown, an introductory video. If you're looking for the actual comparisons, check out the cards above or the Ink Showdown playlist in the description below. This video is to go over how the comparison actually works. So, the comparison is composed of these five categories total ink output, smoothness, enjoyability, smear tendency, and bleed tendency. Let's get started. Total ink output. I start off by measuring the amount of ink in the refill when new, and then use the refill as normal for a bit. After that initial break-in, I remeasure the ink level, write out two pages worth of Bible text in a moleskin journal, and then remeasure the ink levels. Then calculating the amount of ink used for those two pages, I get an estimate of what the total ink output would be if I were to use the whole refill. It's important to note that this is an estimated number and your mileage may vary. The actual writing is Bible text, and so different texts for different refills, but to keep things consistent, I am keeping track of the character count as well as the word count, and you can find that in a database in a link below. Side note, even though the total ink output is one measure, I will be converting this to a five point scale where an ink that runs out quite quickly with a low output will receive one point versus a more long lasting ink gets five points. Next is smoothness. This is how smooth or scratchy the pen feels while writing. A scratchy refill will receive one point and a very smooth refill will receive five points. Next is enjoyability. And this is very, very subjective. I do realize that. If writing with a certain refill makes me wish I was writing with something else, that would be a poor score. And therefore receiving one versus a pen that I do enjoy using, that's a five point pen. Smear tendency. For this test, I'm writing out the word smear. And right after that, I'm using my finger to try to smear it and smudge it. I do realize we usually don't smudge the writing that quickly unless you're left-handed, but I'm trying to keep the timing as similar as I can. Therefore, a very smeary ink will receive one point versus an ink that does not smear at all or smears very little will get the five points. Bleed tendency. This is the degree of bleeding that happens from a certain ink. A pen that bleeds a lot will receive one point, and a pen that doesn't bleed at all, well, five points. The final score for each ink will be a total of all the points added up, and so overall score is out of 25. If you'd like to see a database for these scores, please check the description below. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.